and it was really important to me like the dragonfly goes with the word honest because in order for you to change you have to be honest with yourself and this and the symbol of a dragonfly is all about change so every time i'm designing something new i'm always thinking about the experiences in my life the people in my life and those symbols out in the world that we need to inspire us i i think about you guys as well Reed willer any designs coming to support the LGBT community? I have been working on, especially with Mariah. Are you running my sister wife's closet now? Well, I was always kind of spearheading my sister wife's closet. It was always something that I was very passionate about and kind of dragging the rest of them <laughs> along with me, trying to help them and trying to get them to see the vision. It's still a business that we all still own but it's something that is my passion I'm very excited about and I'll always take direction and you know input if any of the other parents want to say something or give some sort of design inspiration or, or something along those Hi friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday, May 23rd, 2023, 24, 2024. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Robin Brown actually admitted to dragging her family into a failed business back in 2017 during a live Q&A on her Facebook page for My Sister Wives Closet. The eight minute video proves that Robin Brown was the only one of the family by that point that was still involved in the company that she was the one that spearheaded this idea about having a jewelry business and that she was the one that dragged the family into it. And by 2017, no one was interested whatsoever in helping her anymore. So Robin took resources from the family and put them into a failed business and designed ugly jewelry that nobody wanted to buy. What remains to be seen is how much money they actually dumped into My Sister Wives Closet. The company website is still online, you guys, and yet the company has not updated anything in five years. She has not posted since March of 2019 on any of her social media. And it would appear that very early on, Janelle was the one that called it, that the business was nothing more than a hobby business, that the business would absolutely never succeed, and that it would never pay the family bills. Robin did a bunch of lives, she posted videos on YouTube, and she was never really able to gain traction. When she was designing jewelry, she actually admitted she designed jewelry thinking of herself. This means that her narrow view of life coming from the world of fundamentalism, she had this belief that things that inspired her and aesthetics that inspired her and jewelry that inspired her and that she liked would be what everyone else liked. And unfortunately, the world of jewelry is highly competitive. The world of jewelry is highly in, in fashion changes drastically so what's in today is not in tomorrow and she was never able to really keep up with what others wanted to see when you listen to her sales pitches you hear a lot of eyes i thought this i liked this i was inspired by this this made me feel good now it's wonderful to use it have a creative outlet and to create products it's wonderful to use your creativity to try to put together a business. But if you create a business around what you like, you have to find consumers that want to buy. And she just never found people willing to buy into what she was trying to sell. And when she would sell to the average person, she never was really talking about what it was that they would want and what they would want from a product or why this product would be beneficial for them. It was, I really like this product, you should too. Sales 101, you need to find the buy-in for the consumer. She failed. So she also revealed in the same Q&A the reason why she likes the dragonfly. She's obsessed with butterflies and dragonflies. 
And she says it's because she believes that dragonflies mean honesty. Now, dragonflies are a symbol for transformation and change and self-actualization and self-realization. It's interesting to note that the way that she views herself is in contrast to the way that the public views her. Even in her design, she is trying to tell the public that, hey, I'm an honest person. Is that a reason why some people simply didn't want to buy? I remember back in the 90s, dragonflies were super popular. Dragonfly and butterfly barrettes were all the rage and clips were all the rage. It was really big when we graduated from high school. I graduated from high school the same year as Robin Brown, and Robin Brown never let go of her love for dragonflies and butterflies. We used to use these little clips and we would twist our hair and we'd have little rolls with the hair all put together and then we would like put our hair up and kind of spike it up in the back. It was a whole thing. Gwen Stefani did it for a while. I think that's might have where part of that came from. But she never let go of the dragonfly thing. And, and while the dragonfly is beautiful, it's not always in fashion. I'm just saying there, but she's trying to tell us all that she's honest, okay? So even in her designing, she is very sending messages to people that, hey, this dragonfly represents me and I represent honesty. Even in her sales, she demonstrated symptoms and signs of her narcissistic personality disorder. What can I say? So the store hasn't been active since 2019. It's been dissolved and yet the website lives on. And I don't know if you actually were to buy anything if she would send you the products. When you go to the website, it just says, we're coming back soon. We're, we're updating the, the store. Robin's dovetail or tailspin into selling jewelry was her job. That was what she decided she was gonna do to help the family succeed. And it was one of many financial decisions that ultimately did not help the family. She also wanted to move to Flagstaff. How did that work out for her? She's a very impulsive person that absolutely cares about what other people think. And this is further evidenced by a recent update to her Twitter, which I actually found a little bit disgusting given everything that's happened in the family. First and foremost, Cody Brown and Robin Brown do use social media. Robin Brown doesn't have a Facebook, but she does have a fake Facebook and I've found it. Robin peruses and views content through a web, through a page under the guise Alice Wynn. She uses her middle name and Cody's middle name for her profile. And what is the profile picture of? Ah, a butterfly or a dragonfly. I'm not quite sure, but either way, it's again, more evidence that she believes that she's a transformative being. So this profile doesn't post and I can't see what it's posting because frankly, it's private, but she's following her sisters and her mom and her mom is friends with her on this page. Safe to say it's Robin. So given the fact that we know that she's online and we know that she's watching, I did think it was interesting that she recently updated a photograph on her Twitter account that she hasn't used in five in four years. For whatever reason, at the end of 2021, the Browns stopped going on Twitter. Before, when they were part family, like a whole family, they would live tweet every single season and every single episode and they would respond to fans and talk with them. But in the spring of 2021, that's when Christine decided to leave. And suddenly and abruptly, the whole family decided they were no longer going to live tweet, which was really weird. Like they didn't even want to pretend like they were happy anymore. So by 2021, they no longer could communicate and interact as a family. Robin's Twitter hasn't been touched since then, but yet she has updated a photograph on her Twitter, which kind of indicates that she is still thinking about what we think about her. I've also noticed that Mary thinks a lot about what people think about her. And listen, it's not uncommon to not like the hate. Trust me, I get a lot of it. I don't know if you've noticed. But Robin Brown's new Twitter page says, be so busy loving your life that you have no time for hate, regret, or fear. And then her bio says, Robin Brown from Sister Wives, mother, sister, <laughs> mother, wife, sister wife, business owner, and God-loving woman. The most important thing to me is my relationship with God and my family. There are so many lies in that short bio. So she has not updated her bio whatsoever, and nor has Cody. 
Cody's bio on Twitter still says that he's a husband of four and he has 18 children and he loves all of his wives. Part of me believes that Cody still believes he has four wives. I honestly believe that he is like the current prophet of the AUB who counts the wives that have already left him as wives he still claims in heaven. I know that Cody's very ambivalent and very ambiguous about what his beliefs are today. And I know that McKelty, his flying monkey, constantly says that the ever-evolving faith beliefs of their family have changed and she isn't sure that they actually believe in the faith. Cody said in November of 2023, he wasn't ready to throw away his faith. I don't know where he stands, but the fact that he still hasn't updated his social media to say that he has four wives means that I think he hasn't let go of them in heaven. That's just my opinion. Guys in polygamy are known to count women that have left. Hell, I think some of them will even seal dead women to them in order to meet their like levels in heaven. So Cody still is pushing online that he has four wives, 18 kids, and he loves all of his wives. We know that he doesn't have that many wives. We also know that he doesn't love all of his kids or all of his wives. So Robin, her message is love your life and be so happy that you don't have time for hate. I don't know, like I feel like with Mary and with Robin specifically is if you don't care about the hate, don't even address it. I don't know. I struggle with not addressing hate. I think a lot of people that have public platforms struggle to balance. Do you actually address the hate? Does addressing the hate actually help you? What is it? What is the message that it sends to your fans if you're constantly addressing the hate? There's more people that would like you if you would just be nice to them, Robin. But what do I know? So even in her Twitter bio, this woman is still worried about the hate that she's getting because I have a sense that if she really wasn't worried about the hate, she wouldn't put that post as her Twitter banner. Am I right or am I right? Anyone? And if this is something that she's recently done, it's also kind of gross because I don't know, like kind of gloaty, right? Have no time for hate, regret, or fear. Her whole entire faith base is based on fear. I don't know. So busy loving your life. Okay. She's so busy loving her life, you guys. She's hashtag blessed. So Robin Brown is at a position now where her sister wife's closet has failed. She admits to dragging her family into a failed business. And on top of that, she has admits that she designs these products, not for her, not for you, not for anyone else, but herself. And that believe she wants you to know that she feels that she's honest. Robin sending messages through her jewelry, kind of weird. I mean, I understand the symbolism, but it just feels a little bit Illuminati. And I'm not even one of those people that believes in the Illuminati. I don't do conspiracy theories. I don't go down the rabbit hole with that kind of stuff. But I feel like maybe they were trying to send us messages through their, through their jewelry, and maybe they were trying to make us believe they were something they weren't. It's just another indication of the lies that are told in this family. So what are your thoughts about Robin believing she's honest, admitting to dragging her family into a business that failed? And what are your thoughts about her being so worried about hate, because not being worried about hate because she has such a fabulous life given the state of the family today? Make sure to leave a comment in the below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click on the bell so you never miss a video. Bye guys.